last tutorial, we saved a file in Wick Editor. So if you need to review that, do that. But now what if I have a, a blank canvas or I was working on something new and I want to go back to an old file. Um, so there's some new buttons up here just to introduce you to. One is this, of course, we know a new one will start a new file. Open. I want to open up the last Wick Editor file that I created. So it goes, I, it's under my downloads because that's where all Wick file, when you hit save, it goes to your downloads folder. So I'm on my downloads folder and I'm looking for, it's usually a white piece of paper. There's the name of the file that I made. It even has the date when I saved it. But the important part is the extension, W-I-C-K. So that's how it knows how to open up in the Wick editor. And it saves all of the stuff, the timeline, anything that I created um, in Wick editor. It knows to, to save all of the layers, everything that we work with. And that's how it knows to open up in the Wic editor. So here's my file that we created in the last lesson. Here's all of the work that I did. So that work can be opened another time, but it isn't saved in the cloud or anything. It does get saved to your actual physical computer. So moving along, what if I wanted to create, so I have this frame by frame animation. So this technique where you move something frame by frame and um, just to review, if I copy an object, I add a new frame, I can paste the object and I can do something to it. What do I want it to look like? Um, I'm gonna copy this object, add a frame, paste it, and maybe I want it to move and I want it to be um, change colors now. So I can change its color as well. So as it plays, I can now start to change its color or do something to it. Also, I can let you know that there are 12 frames in one second. That's a review from last lesson too. Some new things. If I want to add another shape, if I want to start animating something new, I would add a new layer. Um, the new layer, then if I create something, can go on any of these frames. So if I want um, a square, normally I'd probably want it to be on the first frame. So I'm gonna click on the frame where I start it and I'm gonna give the square a little bit of a different color that's not already on my screen. There's my square, but it's only on frame one. So if I play this movie right now, the square disappears because it's only on frame one. Um, suppose I want that, that square to not move. I don't wanna copy it and put it on every single frame. So what I can do is move my mouse to the edge of this frame and drag so that it just sits there. Now, if I play, the square will stay there. It's a stationary object. It just remains in one place. I can make anything a stationary object um, by just dragging out the edge of the frame. I can do that up here as well. I can drag out the frame and then whatever, this blue circle will stay there for a little while. Some other things about layers. Um, I'm gonna add, you can name them. So if I click on a layer in the inspector on the right hand side, I can name this circle and I can name this layer. Now this layer is now circle. I wanna change this one to square. I can, I can change these layers. So I wanna show you one more thing with layers. If I add another layer and I want my name to be there and I don't want it to start till frame four, I'm going to click on four and I'm going to use the text tool to type something, my name. I have my name on there. Um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit, <laughs> but you can see that creek is hidden behind the square. And the reason why it's hitting, it's kind of like holding a paper. This square is above it, so that's why my um, Black Creek is below the square. So if I want to, I can shift these two, I can click and drag these two layers. And as soon as I click and drag, the Black Creek is now above everything else. Let me see if I can give this a bit of a different color here. Now it's easier to see because I used a different color, but if I drag these layers around, Black Creek is behind the square. If I drag it up to the top, it's now in front of the layer. So I can rearrange these layers. 
I can also drag this frame around. If I don't want it to start on frame four, I can start it anywhere I want to by clicking and holding and dragging this frame around. And as soon as I drag, it's only on one frame, so I have blank frames again. So I can do a couple different things with this. I can take Black Creek and I can copy it and go to the next frame and paste it and do something with it, start animating it, copy, click on the next frame, paste it, move it a little bit more. Um, or I can just let it rest there for a while. So now my animation is a little bit different. It's very simple. I have just three movements on Black Creek. But it's a little bit with working with layers, opening up a file that's saved to your computer in a website. That was the first thing that we did. We learned how to add layers. We learned how to move things around within the layers and make a stationary object.